Okay, our first question came from Mr. Alan Estrada Tablada. Is he connected, partner? Check natin si Kawerpang Alan. No? Kanina yata, no? connected siya. Where is he now? Yon, connected si Kawerpang Alan. No? Kapower, ha? Kawerpa, no? Sa Facebook kasi marami na tawag, eh, no? Kamaster, okay? Meron nga, kakuryente, no? Meron ka-inhinyero, no? Meron akong nakita, ka-ano, eh? Uh, Katanso, <laughs> partner, ha? <laughs> uh, so, okay, whatever you call it, ka means brothers and sisters, no? Tayo yung mga magkakapatid, especially sa ating uh, electrical profession, no? Okay, good morning to you, Kaalan, Kawerpang Alan, good morning, okay. Pwede bang marinig ang iyong magandang boses? Maraming po. Okay, sige, pinadala po ito ni Kaalan, no? Okay, so here is his question. By the way, partner, no? There's a possibility that we have uh, a foreign, uh, I mean, uh, not non filipino viewers it's, that is possible no actually they are giving us a message no so can, can you have it in english i think you have an interesting topic so <laughs> okay so we'll try our best to uh, make it in english so that uh, we may serve you no whether you are a filipino or non filipino you are american european african whoever uh, whatever your nationality may be so Our purpose is to help you guys, all the electrical students around the world. Okay, so if you want to join in our mentoring program, this is live, no? Okay, via Zoom. Okay, so may we invite you to join in our Zoom class so that you will have a chance to ask questions about electrical, electrical technology, electrical engineering. Okay. So let us have now the question of uh, Sir Alan or Ka Alan. Okay, which quantity remains constant in transformer? Okay. So again, of course, I will be answering based on my knowledge, based on my research and experiences. Of course, no. Uh, there, there may be some questions that uh, I may have a hundred percent correct answer. That there is a possibility. You can put your comment below. No, if you have some doubts, if you have some comments, no, so whether it is positive or negative comment, you are welcome. No? We are here to make friends with you guys, no? Okay, so uh, I we don't want any uh, what argue. Let's talk about it. If you have some doubts regarding uh, what we have discussed, of course there's a possibility that uh, we may. Uh, have an incorrect answer to some of the questions but i would say majority of the question i would i would say it's just like taking examination partner no so you may not have a perfect uh, answer in your quiz or your in your licensure exam no you may not have a hundred percent score that's what i mean no there is there is still a possibility that we, we can be incorrect of course no? but of course We will give you our best answer, I should say. There is uh, still what we call in engineering a percentage error. No? But, no? but uh, of course, there are many questions that I may say 100% we are correct. Okay? So, maybe not all of the question, but let's put it this way. We are giving our best answer. Okay. Here is his question again. Which quantity... Is remains constant in transformer. Which quantity remains constant? No. So, sino yung hindi nagbabago? It remains constant. Okay. For a transformer, okay, let's go in the whiteboard. Let's say we have a transformer here. We have the primary and secondary transformer. Okay, so we have a uh, transformer has its uh, primary and secondary, okay? Let's say this is the transformer. This is the device, I mean. 
is the device. This is the transformer. Okay. There is what we call the transformation ratio of the transformer. There is a transformation ratio. That is our A. I call this as any, E-N-I, any, E-N-I, any, one, one, two, 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 one, any, one, one, two, 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 one. So just remember that. that. That is just a simple technique of mine. Okay. So any, one, one, two, 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 one. So what does it mean? What does it mean? Okay. It means that considering these two, E1 is equal to E1 over E2 is equal to N1 over N2. Meaning they are directly proportional. They, directly proportional meaning if they are 1, 1, 2, 2, that is directly proportional. Meaning if the number of turns increases, the voltage also increases. Or whoever has more more turns in transformer will have a more a greater voltage i mean usan mas maraming ikot ng wire do mas mataas ang voltage what about here e1 i2 e2 i1 what does it mean that is inversely proportional no meaning the voltage that has, let's say, a higher voltage will have a low current. Okay? High voltage, low current. Let's say low voltage will have a high current. Okay? So, actually, we discussed this before in our transformer basics. But this question is, which remains constant? It doesn't change. Which remains constant? It doesn't change. In our basic equation here, the voltage and current are not constant. The voltage in the primary is not equal to the secondary. Well, not unless you have one is to one transformer, but that's a special case transformer. Okay, there is a uh, one type of transformer. I think that is what we call the uh, matching transformer. If I'm not mistaken, matching transformer. So. That is a one-to-one -one transformer. But basically, transformer changes the voltage. Okay? But the question is, which quantity remains constant? Yung hindi nagbabago. So, meaning, let's take a look at the choices. Meaning, the voltage and current changes. So, it's not constant. Okay, so, we only have two. Kawer pangalan. No? Dalawa na lang ang natitira. Process of elimination. So, which quantity remains constant? Is it frequency or power? Frequency or power? That is the question. In transformer, there is what we call efficiency. Transformer efficiency. Let's go over here. The efficiency basically is the power output over power input in it times 100% that is the general formula for efficiency or we have the power output over the power output plus the power losses the power loss times 100% so because the power input is equal to the power output plus power losses. That is no? another equation. Again, power input is equal to power output plus power losses. Okay. So, a transformer has a very high efficiency. Why do, what do you mean by that? It's more than 90% based on our calculation. Uh, if you see electrical engineering books, it has more than 90%. That's the usual. It can have 95 to 98% based on my experience in uh, 
in reading books and even in calculations. Okay? It's just more than 90%. So, the efficiency of the transformer is power output plus power output plus power losses. In particular, what is this power losses? There are two power losses of transformer, basically. So we have the core loss, the core loss, and the copper loss. PCU or the copper loss. There are two losses of transformer. Okay. So let's say we have core losses. Huh? We have core losses here. Let's say this is the core. There are losses in the core. Okay. So meron tayong uh, losses sa core natin. Let's say. And we have losses in our winding, which is the copper loss. Remember, the core loss is what we call the core loss is what we call the constant loss. Constant loss. And the copper loss or the PCU is what we call the variable loss. Even in DC machines and in generators, alternators, there is what we call constant loss and variable loss. That's a general uh, formula for the efficiency of a machinery. That is power output over power output plus the constant losses plus the variable loss. Okay, usually, the constant loss, these are uh, mechanical loss, friction windage loss, okay? the iron losses, constant loss. That constitute a constant loss. The variable loss, basically, it's a copper loss. What is a copper loss? Since the core loss is a constant loss in a transformer, what is a copper loss? A copper loss, these are losses in the wire. So, remember that a transformer has a winding. Let's say this is uh, R1, X1. This is R2, X2. Okay. There are losses in the copper loss, which is the I squared R. There are losses in the resistance for the primary and secondary. So basically, basically, if we mean, let's say, for example, we have an efficiency of 95%. What does it mean, 95%? Well, okay, the efficiency, power, that is in kilowatt, let's say. Kilowatt, or it can also have what we call the, uh, the energy. The energy output, it can be energy output over energy input or energy output plus the energy losses. Well, it's just the same because because we have the uh, energy is equal to power times time. Well, energy is also power and energy is power multiplied by time. <coughs> Well, there is what we call all the efficiency for the transformer. What is the uh, efficiency for the whole day, for 24 hours? We'll go to that calculation, Kaalan, in our review class. No? We cannot uh, do it uh, here right now. No? We don't have the luxury of time. Well, your only question is this. No? For example, we have 95% efficiency. What does it mean? Okay, let's go back to basic. This is the power output over power input. Of course, there is no 100%. What do we mean by power output? Power output simply means that is the power delivered to the load, the load. What is the power input? That came from the source. That came from the source. What do we mean? If I am going to put a load here and a source here, we have an AC source for a, our transformer. Meaning, our power input, of course, is on the 
source side or line side. Electrician will call it a line side. Just like a meter base. Uh, there is a line side and load side, right? Line side meaning source side. In uh, power system engineering, that is what we call the uh, upstream. The load side is the downstream, meaning that is the load side in power system high voltage engineering. Now, if we have here the power output, <clears throat> that is the power consumed by the load itself. So, meaning there is a certain ratio of the power output or the load power to the power input. Let's say you have 95%. Meaning that is the ratio of the load power to the input power. See? So therefore, they are not equal. They are not constant because there are some certain loss. Certain loss in Let's say if this is the core, if this is the core, because if you have your core here, let's say this is your core, there is a winding, there is a loss in the core, that is your core loss or iron loss, and there is a copper loss before it will go to the load. Let's say your uh, power flow would be from the source, then there will be losses, and then we have the power output before it will now go to the load. So there are losses in the core. Let's say. So if we are to draw like this, we have a core here. Then we have a transformer here. Of course, this has resistance, this has resistance. Okay? Of course, there are reactants, reactances. So, there is, due to the magnetic flux here, there is what we call a core loss. There is core loss here. And then there is a copper loss due to the resistances in the primary and secondary winding. So, let's say you have even 95 to 98%, meaning the output is not equal to the input. Okay? Not unless you have an ideal transformer, which is 100%. But, but you cannot, uh, you, will not, you will not find it. No? So, it is not a... Uh, a practical value that you will have a 100% efficiency. It's not realistic. Even in calculations, I don't encounter 100% efficiency for the transformer. If we say 100% efficiency, meaning the output is equal to the input, there will be a constant power. And it's not possible due to the losses of the transformer. It's not possible. Even we try in an experiment in the university, if you are going to put an oscilloscope here, there is oscilloscope that will show the wave shape. And this is the only thing that doesn't change. The frequency. The frequency doesn't change because if you have a sine wave, it hurts. The output is also 60 hertz. Not unless you have a frequency changer. But the transformer alone will have a constant frequency. The frequency doesn't change. And my answer to your question, Sir Alan, Ka Alan, is which quantity remains constant? For me, my answer is frequency. If this will be given in the board examination, the answer is frequency. That is my answer. Which quantity remains constant? Hindi nagbabago. Hindi nagbabago frequency. The wave shape still the same. Okay? Or the frequency, the cycles per second. If we mean frequency. Okay? That is my answer. Letter C. Because the power may change. 
may change. Okay? Because 100% efficiency is not realistic in transformer. Okay? So, or I believe so in any system. 100% efficiency. No? Not unless given in the problem, it has 100% efficiency. But uh, it's not a usual thing. No? So, but definitely, transformer will have, even though it steps up, steps down the voltage or current, the frequency remains the same. Let's say in our country, 60 hertz. There are countries using 50 hertz, just like in India. 50 hertz. It doesn't change the primary and secondary in a transformer. Which quantity remains constant? It is the frequency. The current, the voltage, and power changes. So that is my final answer. Is that okay now? Kaalan? That's my answer. Thank you, Bo. Thank you. Oh, Bo, Bo. Concern regarding my question. Thank you don't have reaction or violent reaction? <laughs> No? Okay. Is that okay, clear with you? Okay. okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. How about?